Okay, in this lesson what we're going to look at is how to determine the trigonometric ratios of quadrantal angles, which are 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. Um, quadrantal angles are the angles between the quadrants. So like I said, each of the axes, 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. Previously, we have found out how to determine trigonometric ratios using the special triangles. Um, so we know how to determine... Um, trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Uh, now we're going to look at the quadrantal angles, which is also possible. So in order to, to determine the trigonometric ratios, what we do is sketch reference triangles that approach the quadrantal angles, so that are really close to the quadrantal angles, and that will reveal something important. Uh, to simplify calculations, what we want to do is use a hypotenuse in each case, of length 1. So let's, for example, start with 0 degrees. So if I draw a reference angle that is pretty close to 0 degrees, so uh, I can't make it really small because it will, won't fit or look very good on your screen, but if we make this pretty close to 0 degrees, we're always going to use a hypotenuse of 1. In this case, the closer and closer that this terminal arm became to 0 degrees, this opposite side would become relatively 0. And this adjacent side would be the same length of the, as the hypotenuse, which is 1. So if we use that, this is being the opposite, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent, uh, what you'll find out is that the sine of 0 is opposite over hypotenuse, is 0 over 1, which is 0. Uh, the cosine is 1 over 1, which is 1. And the tan is opposite over adjacent, 0 over 1, which is 0. You could find this out on your calculator. So for example, if I do the cosine of 0, to close to 0 degrees, I should get 1, which I did, uh, which you can see here. Uh, let's look at the next quadrantal angle, which is 90 degrees. If I draw a reference triangle with a terminal arm very close <clears throat> to 90 degrees, you'll get a good sense of how this works. So there's a reference triangle that has pretty close. Uh, the hypotenuse in this case is still 1. So here's the hypotenuse of that reference triangle. Uh, the opposite side in this case, the closer and closer the terminal arm got to 90 degrees, it would also be 1. And the adjacent side would be really small, which is essentially 0. So if we look at this uh, angle, which is 90 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse would be 1 over 1, which is 1. Uh, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse is 0 over 1, which is 0. And uh, tan, which is opposite over adjacent, is 1 over 0. You cannot divide by 0, so you would get an error, or in other words, it uh, does not exist. I'll just put uh, the ratio doesn't exist, so I can even prove it to you. If I do the tan of 90, I will get an error. Okay, so that ratio does not exist. Uh, let's look at the next quadrantal angle, which is 180 degrees. Again, if you ever get stumped on something, you may want to pause it, rewind it, etc. If I draw a terminal arm that is really close to 180 degrees, and I use that as my reference, the hypotenuse is again a length of 1. However, in this case, the opposite and adjacent have to be relative to the x and y coordinates. So in this case, the opposite would be essentially 0, and the adjacent would be uh, negative 1, not positive 1, because the, x, the coordinate of that particular reference triangle would be negative. Uh, so the adjacent side would be negative 1. If we come up with these uh, ratios, 100, sine of 180 would be opposite over hypotenuse, so 0 over 1, which is 0. Cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 1, which is, oh sorry, it should be adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. And the tan should be opposite over adjacent, which is 0 over negative 1, which is 0. So for example, if I do the cos of 180, you will see that I do get a ratio of negative 1. Finally, let's look at the last quadrantal angle, 270 degrees. Uh, if I draw a reference angle really close to that, or a terminal arm really close to that angle and make my reference triangle, what you'll see is if I use this angle, the hypotenuse is 1. Uh, the opposite in this case, because it's going down, is the length of negative 1, because it's about the same length as the hypotenuse, and the adjacent would be equivalent to roughly 0. So coming up with these trig ratios again, uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, is negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 0 over 1, or 0. And opposite over adjacent would be negative 1 over 0, and we learned that we cannot divide by 0, so we would get an error. Um, so there's how you can find the trigonometric ratios of the quadrantal angles.